everyone, my name is Annette and you may know me as Netter's Plays. And today on Applied Mechanics, I'm going to go over the game of Mexica. So this is an abstract game where you use the action point allowance system. So let me show you a little bit about that and why I really like it. So this is the setup of the game and players will also have a certain amount of temples to add to the board depending on the round. So on a player's turn, you'll be able to apply a certain amount of points towards actions to take on the board. This handy reference card will show players how much the actions cost and how much they're allowed every turn. One action you can take is to place a canal tile onto the map. That costs one action point. Another player can also build a bridge, which costs another action point. You can also move your Mexica token along the map, costing you one action per movement. Or a player can move their Mexica anywhere on the map by expending five of their six action points. By laying down these canal tiles, you can also create districts. If the player's Mexica is in that district that was founded, then they will also score points if there's a Capuli tile available. If a Mexica is also in a founded district, then they can also build a temple. The temple cost can range anywhere between one and four action points. Players can also acquire these extra action points for later. As soon as the players have built all of the first eight districts or has built all of their temples, then the first round is over. Players will then score the founded districts by applying how much presence in temples they have in them. You play a second round and the player with the most points wins. So the game is based on the development of the Aztec or Mexica culture. And what you're trying to do is carve out these different canals from these lakes to build these different districts. It applies to the game abstractly. However, what I really enjoy is the action point allowance system because you only have a certain amount of points to play certain actions on. The actions are very few. However, the way you disperse your points is what makes the game interesting. Well, thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.